Hello boys and girls, it's back to school tomorrow for most of you and we are praying that you will be able to stay in school and enjoy your classes this with your friends this term. I hope you'll go to bed in good time tonight to be well rested for the week ahead. Today we're going to start to look at a new book of the Bible. If you have a Bible in front of you, you can look at the index at the front. Remember, the Bible has two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The stories we have been looking at over the last few months, learning about Jesus, have been from the New Testament. And now we are going to go back in time and looking at the Old Testament. Do you know what the first book of the Bible is? It's Genesis. Then it is followed by Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, that's a difficult one to say, Joshua, Judges, Ruth and 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel is the ninth book in the Old Testament and we will be looking at it over the next few months. Now, we know where in the Bible to look for this story. I think we should also look at where in the world this story took place. You can see on the map where we are in Northern Ireland and where Israel is. Our story starts today in Ramah. It was about 80 miles from Jerusalem in Israel. That's about the same distance as from Bambridge to Dublin. There is a lady on her knees in the temple. She is crying and her lips are moving, but she isn't speaking out loud. Eli, the priest who looked after the temple, thought she was drunk and she told him no, she was praying to God. She was pouring her heart out to God. She told God she was sad because she had been married to Elkanah for a long time and didn't have any children. She promised God that if she had a child, he would know and love God and live in the temple and serve him. She got up feeling much better and knew that God had listened to her prayers. In time, she became pregnant and had a baby boy called Samuel. Do you know what prayer is? Prayer is simply talking to God or Jesus. It's not about learning the words of a prayer off by heart, though that is good. Prayers can be spoken out loud or they can be thoughts in your head. When can we pray? We can pray all night and we can pray all day. We can be in the park and he will hear us, or we can be in our beds in the middle of the night and he will hear us. Any time is a good time to pray. Our prayers can be saying, God, this butterfly is really beautiful. Thank you for making it. Or it can be about asking God for something we need or telling God we are sorry when we have done something wrong and we know it will make him sad. Whatever the prayer God always listens to us, just as he heard Hannah in today's story. So this week, I want you to say a prayer to God each day. And in that prayer, thank God for school and to pray for your teacher. Ask God to give him or her the energy for the week, because I know you will have lots of energy. And that the boys and girls in class will listen and behave so that everyone can learn. Have a good week. Bye.